Even though they're divorced, we have been hearing so much about Kim Kardashian and Kanye West all the time. And now Kim is saying that she regrets dating Pete Davidson because she didn't take the proper time to heal from Kanye. Let's see what this is all about. Kim Kardashian is reflecting on the aftermath of her divorce from Kanye West and why she has some regrets and the way she handled it. So Kim Kardashian has been reflecting a lot about her relationship with Kanye West and on one of the most recent episodes of The Kardashians, she expressed to her sisters Kylie and Kendall Jenner that she thinks that she jumped into the relationship with Pete Davidson way too fast after her divorce from Kanye West. It got my mind away from stuff and that's not a way to run to run from things, she said. And then developed a new mantra telling her sisters it's better to deal, heal, deal, heal, then feel. So I think since Kanye remarried and everything, Kim has really been reflecting on a lot of things and like she did date Pete really fast from her and Kanye being together and they were married for a long time. There's a lot of stuff within like her and Kanye's relationship. I can see her needing a lot of time to heal from that and she really didn't take that time to heal and she was using Pete to hide from those feelings and that's not fair to her and that's not fair to Pete Davidson either. And I really hope she's apologized to him either before or after this episode came out because what she said kind of sucks towards him. And I feel like she put him through a lot kind of thing. And it's just, I think it would be nice for her just be like, hey, I'm sorry, I was just reeling from Kanye and stuff. It seems like she's just now realizing that she fully has not healed from that relationship and she has a lot of work to do. So despite the controversy that surrounded her ex-husband, Kim confesses that she doesn't want to look at her experience negatively. I'm not going to take every experience and bad thing that happened to me and carry that into my life. She explains, what am I supposed to, what am I supposed to be learning from this? How is this going to make me a better person? And that's really how Kim should look at things. She should look at it like, okay, I experienced this. How does this make me a better person? How can I use this as a learning experience to being a better person, to learning how to properly love someone, that kind of thing, right? So she is really taking the experience that she had with Kanye, which was an experience, and even taking the negative moments and reflecting on them. And she's reflecting on everything to see how she can make herself a better person and how that past relationship can help her in future relationships, which I think is really good for her and really healthy. Kim broke down in front of her sister Chloe over Kanye's outbursts. It sucks when someone doesn't see how different they are, she explains in a confessional. I always will keep looking for that person. You'll always hope you'll see a glimpse of them, and I hope I do. Kim continued, it's really confusing for me. It's so different from the person that I married. That's who I loved, and that's who I remember. I'll do anything to get that person back. I feel so bad for him, she continued. I don't even think he feels bad for himself because he doesn't even think he knows how, she said. Revealing that she hasn't spoken to Kim about his anti-Semitic online rants over fears, he'll probably go off on me. When you know it can never get back there, that's what sucks and that's what's hard. So it seems like Kim is reflecting a lot on Kanye's mental health and Kanye's outbursts. And I see where she's coming from with this and I see where she's coming from by not talking to him because he will flip out on her and it has to be so hard for her because Kanye clearly does not see that he needs help and with what people think is going on with him it's really hard for him to ask for help or to realize that he needs help and he really needs someone in his life to be like hey you need to get this looked at like his kids are getting older and no one's gonna want to see the stuff that he's done on the internet definitely not his kids so it seems like Kim dated Pete pretty much after she filed the divorce papers from Kanye and her and Kanye were married for six years. I think she really needed more time to recover from that relationship than she gave herself and she kind of just like used Pete as a rebound which very much sucks because Pete took a lot dating her. Kanye really went off on him. Knew there was no way she could love this dude, not just because he's ugly, he's not black. She likes black guys. And I do respect Kim for admitting that Pete had to go through a lot and for saying that she does feel bad for the amount of stuff that Pete had to go through because of her relationship with Kanye. And I really feel like, I don't know how Kim is treating Kanye's now wife or anything on that front, but I do feel like Kanye should have left Pete alone because they got separated even though it was all really close together. None of this is Pete's fault. She did not separate from Kanye because she wanted to be with Pete. None of this was Pete's fault. And I feel like he took 
a really hard blow being with her and still stayed with her. Kendall Jenner has spoken out about how she would have handled being in a relationship with Kanye if she was Kim. Let's hear what she has to say. Episode of the Kardashians, Kendall did say that she's really impressed with how Kim is dealing with everything with Kanye. The Skims founder discussed with her sisters, Kendall and Kylie, how she didn't realize it was the day of our divorce was final when she cleaned up the storage facility they had together. So that's really good of Kendall to like admit that she's impressed with how Kim's handling this whole situation. Because Kim has handled this whole Kanye situation really well. And they, ha they have been separated for a while now. She's still constantly dealing with having to talk about him. Them being compared for something in the news. Like it's like she can never get away from this relationship even though she divorced him and like i don't know how she handled clearing out the storage unit that has all their memories in it and all their stuff in it definitely as it was the same day that the divorce was finalized that's really rough and i know personally i could not have handled that so i'm glad she handled that very well and i'm glad that she really didn't realize that right away because i feel like it would have made everything a lot harder i get so emotional and sentimental but it's like why do i hold on to this said kim kendall said you're you're holding on to the reality you thought you were gonna live this whole fantasy you created in your head of what your marriage was gonna be like and it completely shifted to something you've never expected i don't know how kim handles everything with her ex-husband kendall said in a in a confessional. It's impressive, it's amazing. I give her so much props, but I also admire the strength and the cool calmness that she has with it because I could never, I would be spiraling. And you know what? I gotta agree with Kendall in every front of this. I personally spiraling too, because this is insane what she's had to deal with. And also she was holding on to that stuff because she was, she was holding on to a life that she thought she was gonna have that she didn't. And it's really hard to get rid of things from a life you thought you were gonna have and this happy marriage that you thought you were gonna have. And I get it, like Kim's just trying to hold on to something. And I feel like even though Kim and Kanye had a really hard time, there are still good memories of the relationship together to hold on to. Now speaking about her ex and their children, Kim shared with her sisters in the closet that after all of the mean things that he's done, the kids have no clue, they don't know a thing. I think it's who we are and how we were raised. We're all really forgiving and loving, noted Kylie. They think their dad is the best thing and that's the most amazing thing, Kim said. He's so great with them. Why would I take them why would I take that away from them? Because I'm angry. I mean, granted, I have a lot of anger at, but they didn't know that. Mean things that he's done. The kids have no clue. Mm -hmm. They don't know a thing. So I like how Kim has commented on with about her kids and stuff as well. Because this is a tough situation. And you know what? Her kids don't know yet, but they're going to find out at some point what Kanye has said. And I really hope he is a good dad to them and they can see that and they can see that he is a great dad to them. He just made mistakes. So she then reveals that she still has a Christmas stocking for her ex. And when her daughter North posted pictures of their Christmas decorations online, Kim was worried that people are going to think that she agrees with some of his views and with some of the things he says. I wanted to post like all of our decorations and she posted the stocking and I'm like, oh my God, people are going to think I agree with his some of the things that he says. Which one, don't care about what other people think. And two, that doesn't mean anything. You have children with, you have children with this man. You're going to put a stocking up for him because that makes your children happy. Like, you have to think about your children and the situation and what they would also want. And if they want their dad to have a stocking at their mom's house still with their Christmas stuff, then you do that. And no one should think that, oh, Kim, Kim agrees with Kanye because she has a stocking up. No, Kim is taking into consideration that her kids have Kanye as a father and she needs to think about what they want. So Kylie even told Kim that she doesn't have to explain herself to people. And I agree with that. Kim is doing what makes her children happy. She does not need to explain that. And I feel like Kylie really is understanding what Kim's saying and is making sure that Kim knows what she's doing is what she's doing for her children and what she thinks is right for her children and her family and no one else's opinions are valid and no one else's opinions are her concerns. Kendall also noted that people on the internet forget that we're all human, just trying to figure everything out and we're all having human experiences. She continued, the most important thing is safety and protection for you and your kids. I don't mean that necessarily physically, but emotionally and mentally and, and always doing 
the right thing by you and having that self-respect for you. And I agree with all of that. I agree that people kind of forget that the Kardashians are people and like what they're doing on TV, they're figuring shit out too. It's just what they're figuring out they're putting on television compared to everyone else where everything we're trying to figure out is private. And I feel like the most important thing is her health and safety and her kids' health and safety, mentally, physically, everything. Like her top priority needs to be herself and her children. And I think that is what she's doing now, which is really good. Highly added, I don't, I don't think you should change just because he's different. I think you should just continue to be you and project positivity positivity so kim goes on with saying that she has been kanye's biggest fan around her kids and that's really great because she needs to show she needs to show support for kanye in front of their children and show their children that that she supports their father that's a part of co-parenting they're co-parenting these children their children need to know that kim and kanye don't hate each other